I thought Footloose was gonna be about a leper. Oh! Welcome to Beaumont, boring little ass white town in bumfuck Idaho. <laughs> Footloose is set in a dystopian future where the kids are not allowed to dance. It's illegal. Jump back. That's true. Dancing can lead to sex, and everybody's afraid of sex. Kevin Bacon is like Neo in the Matrix. He's like freeing the world. He's not using Kung Fu though. He's using his powerful tushy in these really tight cut jeans. He dances like Michael Jackson on crack. He dances like Baryshnikov on GHB. He's finally transformed this town and everyone is allowed to dance at this ball. Everybody's sitting around in this hall, bored as hell. Then Kevin Bacon shows up. Hey, hey, what's this I see? I thought this was a party! Let's dance! And everybody's freaking the hell out. So most of the film is filmed like any other movie you've ever seen. But the director was holding all his cards close to his chest. At the end, he unleashes what can only be described as a pioneering technological feat. So in order for you to understand exactly what I'm talking about, we need to go way back to the beginning of film history. Film started with the Lumiere brothers back in Paris, France, and the train film, and then it moved on from there to silent pictures, and then it went to the talkies. So then we had color, we had technicolor, and suddenly things were vibrant and bright. Cut to the 1980s, and Hollywood thinking, we've taken technology as far as it can possibly go. We have to blow people away. So then what comes dancing up from behind? Party vision. It's beautiful. You've got lights in the camera. You've got sparkles in the camera. It's everything you ever wished in a party on screen. You're like, do I have glitter in my eyes? Am I stuck inside a disco ball? Kevin Bacon's impact on Beaumont is so powerful, it's bleeding onto the lens. Now we see this technology employed in things like gift cards, Instagram filters. But back then, this was earth shattering. It wasn't long before other films started taking advantage of this technology, putting different thematically relevant things inside of the frame. Party Vision is a technology that has not gone away. Extra big. Some people say that Party Vision was actually designed to hide mistakes, like to block out extras or loose cabling from the health and safety inspectors that watch the movies after they're made. So with this film, Herbert Ross actually wanted to raise awareness about his own disease. The director, he had Party Vision impairment. It's a thing, look it up. Party Vision looks like a lot of fun in Footloose, but for Herbert Ross, this was a real struggle his whole life. When he was in school, the balloons and lights would constantly be obscuring the blackboard. When he was driving, he would think that there were lights coming at him when there weren't. When he was eating, he'd see glitter in his food. Kids bullying him. Ironically, he didn't actually get invited to any parties. It's like he had to create this whole movie to finally be at a party. Ooh, balloons and glitter. I feel like I'm at a disco. This is just like the Kevin's degree of seven bacon. How do you how do you stop this party vision? Footloose, baby.